I'm Mariah from Married to Medicine. Hi, I'm Dr. Heavenly from Bravo TV's Married to Medicine. And we just finished our interview with Hollywood Unlocked Uncensored, and it was shady, and, and Dr. Heavenly was being shady, and I think she might want to say something, I ain't sure. I think it was an amazing show. We both did an amazing job, and I think it's very entertaining. So tune in, make sure you guys watch, and also Sunday night, Sunday night at 8 p.m. Make sure you catch all the shade. You know we're going to have a great time and we want to keep you entertained. Be sure to watch Married to Medicine. What up, everybody? This is Jason Lee and this is Hollywood Unlocked and Censored. It's your boy Giovanni Watson. Hold on. And we have, okay, there's extra estrogen in the building and Melissa Ford is still not here, but we have Mariah and Dr. Heavenly from uh, Married to Medicine. Yes, welcome to the show, ladies. Hey, thank you for having us. Thank you for you coming. Know, Mariah, came in, Mariah came in here looking at me like I was a troublemaker. <laughs> I, I just looked at you. I gave you a little side eye. I love it. But just I was that, being sweet, too. You know, so you're from the South. Both of you are from Atlanta. Are you born and raised in Atlanta? No, I'm from South Florida. Come on now. Oh, so you carry guns in your pocket. Well, no Kodak no, Black. No, no, no. Praise <laughs> Jesus. Where no. you from, right? I'm from Tennessee. I'm from Chattanooga, Tennessee. Ooh. Actually, about two hours away. From Atlanta. Speaking so of Tennessee, we just had Jessica Dime here yesterday and yeah, just talked to Kay Michelle the other day. So I'm really familiar with that Southern um, yeah. hospitality, Southern sweetness. <laughs> I'm not sure how much hospitality you're going to get. Well, that's but all we right. try. We but, try. But there's also sudden, uh, uh, the Southern shade, too. We had Mama D here yesterday. She actually called me to talk to me about you fixing her, too. So thank you for that. Oh, no problem. That's what I do. I now, love see, my job. You do a great job. Thank you. Am, I, thank am you. I good? You straight. You straight. Uh, yeah. That's an overstatement. Go to hell. Okay, we, we have jo we have jokes on the show about you know, I'm gay, he's allegedly straight, so the straight thing was you, did, you, know, didn't you know. can't tell. Now let me tell you something. These two beautiful black That's queens what? could look at a man and say that brother gay and that brother straight. Okay, well they're from Atlanta, so let's talk. Well they live in Atlanta, so let's talk about Atlanta. We've had a lot of people here on the show from Atlanta, and there's one thing. And your fellow um, cast member Quad has been here, so before we even get into all the married to medicine madness, you see I did that. That was good. Um, I'm surprised both of you are in the same room together, sitting uh, here. Me sitting. too. We're me educated too. black women. We can sit together. You sure? Because y'all was outside in the waiting room. I thought y'all was best friends. We could. We are. You know. <laughs> okay. We good. You know what? We're I mean, good. we good. We're professionals. That's we what are. I would say. We get it. We understand. And we're trying to push through. Okay, so okay, let's talk about the history. So you know, I've been We're on trying hard. <laughs> Hold on, when I when I looked at the uh, the teaser coming up because. You know, I have doctors, but I've never known my doctors to have so much energy. And I feel like y'all, I'm not energy like physical energy, but your interactions, y'all got a lot going on out there on the show. Yeah, well, I'm not a doctor. Dr. Heavenly is. <laughs> well, I think that people are people. I mean, yeah. I think maybe you don't see your doctors outside of the operating room or the lab mm -hmm. or wherever, but uh, people are people. Everybody the same, mm -hmm. you know, mm -hmm. we have the same issues. Yeah. Same problem. And, and I know you're not a doctor, but you're married to a doctor. Yeah, and I'm a Fuck. professional woman. He's mm -hmm. No, but I, well, I'm not saying okay. that you... Listen, I, this show is married to medicine, so I'm And just, it was created by me because I thought that people should see doctors outside of their mm -hmm. lab coats without mm -hmm. their stethoscopes and see that they're very real people, just right. like Dr. Hipley just said, and see the sacrifices that they make. Right, but in the context of the conversation, both of you are here because you're on a show called Married to Medicine. Absolutely and right. so the the medical community, I mean, I worked in healthcare for about 10 years before I got into entertainment, mm -hmm. but I was on the side of working with the union. So I worked with a lot of the staff that supported the physicians. And, and, and uh, you know, I haven't really seen, you never really saw into this show, the lives inside of what doctors yeah. go through and their families. So yeah. I think it's been an amazing journey. But to see, you know, you guys here together, when I was sitting here prepping for the show, I was wondering if we had to do like a wand before you walk in the room. Because we've had a gun pulled on us. <laughs> wow. Oh, no, we don't do that kind of stuff. No. no, that's team no. too much. We, we don't might pull out a stethoscope on me now. No. He's no. checking Check that. your heartbeat. We got licenses. <laughs> no. We don't do that kind of no. stuff. Okay, so for those in the audience listening that have, that don't that aren't familiar with the show or as familiar. So walk us through. So when you started the show, it was for the purpose of seeing what exactly? It was to be able to step inside the world of medicine, the way we live, work, and play with doctors. Um, you see them in the office. You see them with their lab coats on, but you never see them, as I said before, without their stethoscope. And to see that they're very real people. I mean, to see them the sacrifices they made. And more than anything, a lot of it was to be able to see the sacrifices that people around them make, mm -hmm. that their that their spouses and their children, they are saving other lives. I remember one time I was diagnosed with a pulmonary embolism when I was pregnant with my son. Oh. My husband was in residence, his second residency. He couldn't come 
and be with me, but he was there saving somebody else's lives. Wow. Now, I felt a certain kind of way. Wow. But that was a lot of, you know, what I felt. I just felt like people needed to see the sacrifices that people make because sometimes they just don't get it. You know, mm. sometimes when they come to work, they are, they've been through a lot at home. So when you say you started the show, you came up, come up with the idea, are you one of the producers as well? So you're like Absolutely. the Shawnee O'Neal of Married to Medicine. Yeah, come but on, it's checks. a lot different at Bravo. You know, Bravo don't give you too much power. But yes, I am the creator. I'm actually one of one of the few um, people that are that's a creator, executive producer, and star on a show at Bravo. Wow. It's three of us. Three checks. It's yeah, it's three of us. Nice. It's me, Whitney from Southern Charm, and uh -huh. um, Lisa Vanderpump. Oh, three nice. of us that's to really ever good. do it at Bravo. Okay, so when you. <laughs> Why does it seem like everybody in this show is or has been or is about to be cheated on? <laughs> now, I think men cheat. That's what I think. That's what I'm getting at the conversation. Men wow. cheat. See? And I think when you're on TV, it, it exposes things. It does. Men cheat. It's women a reality too, curse. Yeah, women cheat too, but we don't yeah. get caught. No, not that I would ever. Listed, I no, I know, not that. Don't, 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 do oh don't do that. Don't do that. No, no, I'm not. No, no but not uh, like that. No, I just think that. that women probably cheat too. I think yeah. they probably do it a little bit smarter. So since the executive producer tried to stop you, who is cheating on their husband on this show? Oh, somebody. I cheating. don't think anybody's cheating on their husband. I mm. think some of the husbands got caught cheating on their wives. So mm. the husband that has a small penis that everybody's talking about <gasps> is that? That's not no Cecil. That's not Cecil. That's, that name, uh, that's a blog, not necessarily true. Well, well let me say this. The, the brother blog, named Cecil. Hold on. The blog said that uh, one of the girls' husbands cheated on her, and that was Quad's husband, correct? Yeah. Okay, so every one thing I found interesting was all the women seemed like they be, they didn't believe the blog, but Quad did. She know a man. She knows his I penis, mean, you too. Know, you know what you're married to. You know to. a man. You may not throw him under the bus, but you know what you are married to. That for sure. So but, you can pull your, your husband's thing out in this lineup like that. No, I don't do all that. I'm not one of them kind of wives. Like we, we're both Libras. We just don't have those personalities. We, I'm not checking phones, but you know what you're married to. You know when a person's lying. You know what you're married to. So when so. Quad was here, she really played it up that her she had a picture perfect marriage and you know all was good or was going to be better. How long better. ago was that? A few it was months. A while ago. Okay. Yeah. A few months. And so wow. when stories like that come up in the blog, I, I found it really interesting that, you know, we've interviewed a lot of women on the show and it was interesting to see mm -hmm. all of the other women believe that it wasn't real. Was it because all the women wanted to believe it wasn't? No, I don't think it's that. Honestly, you know what I think it is because you know what you're married to and you know how your marriage is progressing or, you know, going backwards. You can tell. But I think a lot of it is you just don't want to throw your spouse under the bus. And sometimes you want to push through and try to make it better and try to make it better for the kids. Well, you know, mm -hmm. you know, everybody don't have kids, but, you know, mm -hmm. I'm just saying you try your best to put your best foot forward and make it, you know, and make it work. So, so I think that's what it is sometimes. So can I ask you a question? Kevin, like, you think they full of shit, don't you? No, you like uh, people, no, no, I'm saying like, are we talking about quad specifically? No, I'm talking about. <laughs> oh, all, she need to okay. know. She gonna, because so, she's going to give a better answer if it's about quad. Well, let me say this. No, 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 wait, but, I'm going to tell the truth regardless. Well, that's talk, who I am. Talk to us. No, let me say this. So every woman looking at the blog as it popped up right. was saying, I don't believe this. And the I wouldn't say too. that. It would be horrible with me. Yeah. If my stuff happened, because we've had, my, my husband and I have had differences, but it happened early on in our <clears throat> marriage. Every marriage goes through things. It mm. might be at different levels. And anybody tell you that is telling you a bold faced lie. Mm. Anytime you're living in a house with somebody, it's hard. I mean, even a roommate. Like, hard. so a husband is really, really hard. But so the thing is, is it, de it depends on who you're dealing with. Now, see, it would have been different with me if I seen something in the blogs about him. It would have been horrible. Your husband's here. It would have been too much. Yeah, that's sitting right here. He but, would tell you I am not lying. But your husband, he cheated on you before, right? Um, Yeah. And mm -hmm. you guys were able to... So I how, felt violated. So, yeah, it was mm. cheating. How were you able to survive? Because I know we see we see an hour a, a week on the show, but there's like... Yeah. When, you, when the lights go down, you got to go home and really figure it out. Do you guys go home and say, okay, look... We not about to go out there and beat each other down or <laughs> whatever. Or do you that just... That would be the, a good plan. Mm -hmm. Hopefully, you, I would think that everybody would do that, but it does not happen that way on the show. You right. Um, me and my husband, you know, everybody, you know, faults us for not putting too much out there. Not, But I mean, Smart. it really ain't nothing to put out there. Now, don't get me wrong. Me and my husband do have arguments. 
But I ain't finna disrespect him on TV. That's wow. I'm not gonna do that. You can't pay me to do that. There's nothing you can do to make me disrespect my husband. Because I agree. Ma- on TV. Mariah had rest in bitch face when you were um, saying how no matter what your husband did, you would cook, clean, watch the kids, do everything, and still be all the role of what a wife should be because you said you're every woman or I something did. like that. Well, but, but Mariah, see, she wasn't saying nothing, but the camera kept panning around and she was just looking like... Pfft. Well, I don't I don't know how she feels about it, but I think that my husband deserves his wife and it's my honor and my agree. pleasure to serve him. I think he's a great guy. He does everything he should I do. I don't think it's he, a pleasure to he, serve, though. Uh, it's yeah. a pleasure for me to serve my man. I, I mean, he right, prays, protects, yeah. and provides exactly. for me. My husband is an ER physician with his own practice. He does everything. He's a great father. You know what I mean? I like that. I think so many times black women put their men men down. But when you speak them up and uplift them, they think it's something wrong and then they try to attack it. Like they try to find something wrong. But I'm a a, a, a uplift my man to the end. I mean, I love him. That's That's good. good. I had a question I want to ask you. So being married to a doctor that has his own practice or he's, um, because a lot of these doctors are making the same amount as these NBA players. Right. Is it the same type of, you know, what comes with the territory? Like, okay, like, how does that work? I don't, oh, you go ahead. I'm sorry. I don't think so. I think that Aiden works in the ER. My husband's ER trained as well. Um, They see a lot come through. I mean, it's we in Atlanta, HIV, syphilis. I think it's worse. I think it's worse. Hepatitis, uh, <laughs> HPV. So I'm thinking, like, they would have to be damn fools to really expose themselves. And these women are very thirsty in Atlanta. They very, are. Very, very. But I think the difference is... I agree with Heavenly, but I think the difference is in their field is because they're professionals and NBA players are professionals and ballers and entrepreneurs. You can see a group coming from a mile away. Mm. You see a nurse. I mean, or I'm just not not just saying nurse, but I think in that environment that they're in, you don't see it It, because they're doctors and we and we know they love what they do. But them nurses don't see a patient. Yeah, because you know a lot of doctors. But that's what I'm saying. It's a lot of doctors that popping bottles too. But that's what I'm saying. Mm. That's it's, my point. It's like you don't see it com- coming. In the field they're in, you don't see it coming. It's not as visible as it is in the sports world. Okay, so you, you brought up all the different STDs in Atlanta. So I was just there recently. <laughs> in film, Atlanta. Film, <laughs> filming Wild and Out. And I, and I was laying in my hotel room and on TV, they were showing commercials for HIV. I was right. I had never seen nothing like that in, in like the and way that's one of the leading though. cities of HIV it is. in America. They should, though. You know. So does that ever does that ever create any additional um, concern when these husbands of yours are out there cheating or of messing course, around? Of course, of uh, course. One of our castmates actually got an STD test while she was on camera. Did she have yeah. it? No. no. Oh, Praise God. God. Could have went a whole storyline. Could have yeah, went a whole, went other a whole way. different way, but we gonna thank God. Yeah. yeah. Mm. That's okay. crazy. Because so, if your man cheat, he can bring home anything. True. And it's not just in Atlanta. It's just a baby too. And, yeah. I was just about to say it could yeah, be a baby right. also. Mm. All right. So All with, kind of packages. So with Quad, um, it looks like there was a lot of animosity from some of the some of the other women on the show that because she got Sister Circle, became a talk show host, she started basically putting her nose up at everybody or being unavailable. Do you feel like Quad is like on her own shit right now? Like she thinks she's better than everybody else? I think Quad has always been like that. Mm. But I've been friends with her the longest. So that's the Quad I've always known. So I didn't take it personal. I think really what it was or what it is is she's going through some personal things. And sometimes when people are going through stuff, they just separate themselves. Mm-hmm. They don't want to have to answer the questions. And I say that to everybody. I and that's it to understandable. The yeah, you don't know how you're going to deal with things when you're going through stuff in your personal life. Sometimes you just don't want to face people and that are going to hold hard you accountable. Group, you know, this it is, is a hard group. We walk up in the group. They're going to ask the questions, you know. That's that's pretty much part of our job, to ask the questions. So if you don't want to answer the questions, you won't come around, you know. Mm. Have you ever faced a situation where your patients are just like, or in your case, uh, being an entrepreneur, where maybe your consumers or clients feel like it's just too much to... It's just too much. Like your profession on television is too much for them to patronize your business. In I have not had that issue at all. Now, I'm sure, I'm sure certain people that probably would never come to my office, but ain't but so many I could see anyway, you know? I mean, it's <laughs> 2.4 million people watching this show. If I get half of them, you know what I mean? I'm still good. So I wouldn't know, but I'm saying I have more patience than I ever did before. I face it every day on the show. Mm-hmm. I face it as a creator, as an EP of the show. I feel like... I always ask myself, was being on the show a blessing or a curse? Mm. I feel like it would have been completely different if I were to have just stayed behind the scene with as my white male counterparts did. Mm. 
Mm. I feel like I would have warranted more respect from the very people that I wanted to share this platform with. So feel, I feel like that all the time. Do you feel, do you feel as a, a African American woman creator in television that you're treated differently than absolutely? That? Right. And how, you know what? How? But I feel blessed now. I do feel blessed. I think it's just different. It really is different. It's a different set of rules. I think people want to say you sold it. If you didn't really do it, I think they want to they want to minimize you. They diminish your accomplishments. But I don't think it's any different as in the medical world. I mean, I think it's just like that as women. I'm not even just saying it's like that as a black person. I'm saying I think women are dealing with that so much today in most professional worlds. It's definitely like that in uh, TV. I forgot who Quad said the woman was, but who was the woman that was fighting at the pool at the party? Me. Was that you? Me and Toya. She Wait, sound proud. I was all fighting. Okay. No, I'm, I'm just being honest. I'm walking in it. I'm telling the truth. Did you hit the... I was his most shameful thing in my entire life. Wait, I can't remember the scene, but you hit her with the bag or she hit you? Uh, I hit her with the bag after she threw a drink on me. <laughs> that seems very that was, common. It was amazing. That was good it TV. It was horrible. Uh. It was horrible, but it changed. The, you have to, from my perspective, it really changed the trajectory of this show. Mm -hmm. Because it, then it, I believe that we start being compared to shows that I just felt like we were Love different from. I was yeah. just about to ask you that. Yeah. What, what do you it, think? I hate makes, it. But well, you know, it, it, what it, what it, but what it did for me is let me realize that, like Heavenly said, we're all the same. Like I always thought that I was above certain behaviors. I did. Mm -hmm. But when my child got when she when it, it was about my child like it's about like i'm still a mama first yeah. mm -hmm. i think damn that fight is what put the show on the map though that's what everybody started watching like damn two doctors why are they fighting oh, oh we were actually God. at that part i, and I, yeah. I was like i, I invited was you heaven i remember i was yeah. shocked when it went down i was like oh my god it was Somebody horrible gonna fall in the pool and my mama Jesus. jumped in the fight I it thought it, it was listen, a hot you know, southern ha mess. Having been <laughs> on a show you. that fights every scene, it was good to see some. I mean, because it was when, a, when it people was do real, attack though. your children, real feelings do get involved. You forget about your degrees. You forget, you forget about, about, the about your house. You forget about your neighbors. You forget about the <laughs> cameras, the mm -hmm. audio. I'm telling you, still got to go to church. I never <laughs> thought. I never thought in a million years that I'd be. In, be I would be the person fighting on. On, on TV. That was, I mean, good, when it that comes, was a good swing. Yeah, though. when it comes to your children, like I'm a father of a, a 15 year old daughter, it's like I see you red. It. You I see you red. Don't see it. Yeah, you. It, it's real. Now I want to ask you this because when I walked in and I met you too, mm -hmm. what I want to know what background was your husband? What is your husband? Uh, my husband's from Bangladesh. He's Indian. So, you know, Muslim background. I grew what, up what was, Southern what Christian. Because I was like the Indian guy. And she was like, I was like, he's Indian. Yeah, Wait, okay, he is. but he's see, from Bangladesh. Listen, he's a, he grew he, up in New Jersey, Patterson, New Jersey. Let's the hood. Just, for the people that don't know, to be an ER doctor, that shit is really hard. Yeah, like absolutely. you never know what's coming through that door. And yeah. then on top of that, the hospital is so goddamn cheap. They don't want to. They don't want to follow the ratios. So listen, I, he's he he has a lot of stress. He has exactly. a lot of stress. So this is the question. Let me ask her a question Go real ahead. quick. Mm -hmm. So when Heavenly Fat shamed you, did you feel like I got? Did you talk to your husband? Or did you want to just? Fat Punch your lights yeah. out. When you did the picture, with, I didn't think it was a fat shame. And the picture was oh, a pretty picture. Oh, you remember that picture? Okay. <laughs> when you took the picture and you were scribbling on it or whatever, and then the picture that came out at that sex toy party, <laughs> did you feel like that was fat shaming? Um... Cause Geo fat shames me every day, and I just be like, I didn't Geo. Feel, you know what? I, to be to be honest with you, it, it's two different things. The day I was mad with Heavenly. When we were at the reunion and she wrote on my poster because I felt like it was my property. Like I felt like I was right. being. Oh, okay. I did. I feel Here like. Y'all go. Y'all no, 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 no. I'm tell you why but, I did it. But no, no, no. But with the picture, but with the picture, I was more mad at Dr. Jackie mm -hmm. because why? I felt like that's a picture that I shared with her when I was sick. I had three broken. Well, broken bones in my ankle. I released that picture to her charity. I did not want to take it, but because everybody else was taking the picture and she said, just do this for me. Right, I did it for her. So from? the the fact when that, I'm just telling you for me, I mm -hmm. only released that to Jackie. It had to come through her. She had to sign off on it being released, even to the network. So I was upset with her because mm. I felt like she shouldn't have done it. I was, I was more upset with her with it. So, and I didn't think it was fat shame because I don't think I was fat. I, don't think I might were, have been thicker than a mug, but, but hell, know, I, I wasn't fat. I had a broken picture. I didn't think it was a bad picture. I, I, I personally, I agree picture. with you. I didn't think it was a bad picture. I think you're just pretty, period. I thought it was a pretty picture. But oh, it was a horrible picture. What was your reason, reason behind it, you were saying? Well, you know, when I drew on the poster, we're going to go there. Um, 
I think previous to that, Mariah and her mom did a Facebook Live or something, and they were talking about all this. And I think, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm paraphrasing, whipping my ass, cutting me up, or something, something her mama's saying, you know, uh, my child, something, I'm pimping my daughter, whatever. So I was thinking, like, you know, it's funny. I'm laughing at them. I'm saying, okay, they're getting their joan on or whatever. They're doing the most. <laughs> so I said, you know, what, what would be a funny comeback? I mean, John is in a poster. You know what I mean? I didn't think it was all that. When she stopped pulling and saying people defamed the property and hollering and crying, I was like, oh, my God. So she <laughs> laughed. It was it a $600 a picture. I, I thought well, today. I, let me get you your $600 because uh, I thought it was funny. But, and, but I, I, mean, and I didn't think it was that bad based on the things that they've done. But I've been I'm watching But I've been watching you in the show. Do you, you remind me of like Nicki Minaj. You like sneak this a little bit. I love Nicki Minaj. I love her too. But don't you think you sneak this a little? I like- think that that's what the job calls for. Now y'all ain't gonna say that this. You know what I mean? Are y'all gonna watch a job that I pull some teeth or, or uh, Jackie um does a pap smear or something like that? This married medicine. We on Bravo. Yeah. This reality TV. Mariah knows better than anybody. She's the queen of shade. So we all do it. But do you that notice that she only it? does it to me? No, 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 did no. She only, Have I not she done never it with goes Toya? that far with Have other, I not other done people? It with- She's never uh, defamed anybody else. I think she y'all noticed more. it. Let's think about She's it. She's bothered more. Wait, yeah, so, 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 we're so, right on their property. So we we'll get, see how they we'll see I mean, that plays I out. Mean, see let them do a Facebook happen. live on me and we had a mama at it. After anyway. you call their mama a B I T C H, they can do anything. Well, like that was a us there. Oh my God. Okay, so you know I love hymns. I know you do. <laughs> now I love hymns for men, and he's one of our advertisers that we've been sharing with all of you about, uh, you know, just self care, hair, skin, and all of that. So, are you still mm-hmm. using hymns? I, I use it for the sexual awareness and everything like that. But outside of that, you know, sixty six percent of men lose their hair by the age of thirty five. I'm thirty two, about to be thirty three, so I'm scared. Why? Because I don't want to lose my hair. All right. So just just notice this: when you start losing your hair you know it's too late, all right? So it's easy to keep the hair you have than to replace the hair you lost. Or you just subscribe to Hymns. That's right. Our listeners get a trial month of Hymns for just $5 today. So now while the supplies last, you can go and get it. And so see the website for full details. This would cost hundreds of dollars if you went to a doctor or a pharmacy. Mm -hmm. And uh, if you just go to forhymns.com slash unlocked, that's F-O-R-H-I-M-S dot com slash unlocked. Uh, you can get your $5 trial. That's right. There's no steak, snake oil, pills, or gas station counter supplements, prescription solutions backed by science. So make sure you go ahead and go to Hems right now for your free trial. That's for hymns.com slash unlocks. Unlocks. We already said that. <laughs> Just go get it. <laughs> okay. okay. So we get, we get, I get accused of, um, colorism all the time. Is it a light skin, dark skin thing? Is I don't it a, think so. What do you think I it think is? I think it's a it's a doctor non doctor thing, a doctor wife thing. Absolutely I mean. not. I think, I think it's is. a it, I think it's a boss coworker thing. Mm. Boss coworker, oh. who I work for? Oh, I work for myself. Oh, I've had several. Pre- Come on, Mariah, don't do that. Wait, you have no I'm power in this show. Wait, at you're all. right. You know See, it. Wait, you're, wait, right. you're right. I mean, it you're is right. Like She's boss. absolutely the correct. The with it was I, you, Mariah. She's right. People I call her Queen B. No doctor's going to do that. Somebody with less education, less everything. Nobody's going to do that. Let me just tell y'all this. Let me tell y'all this. I'm one of the people that really want to heavily on this show from day one. Heavily was a squad. That's quite a thing. Listen true. to me. Quad can't tell you if this is true. This okay. is my show. This is on me and my children's like my husband will tell you this. I'm one of the people that fought for Heavenly to be. As with every other person that's on that show. Mm-hmm. I thought Heavenly had a different personality. I thought she was different. And I thought that she had an amazing journey. I thought she was a very successful, professional, and still real. You know, professional dentist. And my husband's a doctor as well. And uh, I mean, she's you know, married to an ER doctor, thing. double license, just like my husband. With so I like their family. Surgical center. All but I, but yeah. I think but I think it says a lot to you so, to be able to recognize yeah. somebody that's so, going to bring you know, value. I, I wanted her to be a part. Casting the I show wanted better to than be. Anybody I wanted her to be on the show. Yeah. So and just I, know and, that. And I think you're extremely entertaining. Thank you. She she is. Is. I love both I had a good time. I ain't going to lie to you. I'm not going to throw my marriage out there, but I really. With you. It was so funny when Quad was here. I was like, I really like the, uh, I really like the uh, veterinarian. She was like, What? <laughs> he did say that shit because I hadn't really watched the show at the time. Oh, I knew about. But I thought you were a veterinarian, and I'm a dentist. Ooh. No, but here's the deal. I love veterinarians. No, I know, Mama D told me how you put that fixed the mouth. Yeah, but, she came through. She pushed through. No, through. but I've I watched every time I watch the show. 
I don't know everybody. I know you, of course. I know you, and I know Dr. Jackie. Who yeah. I, I like Dr. Jackie. And Quad, of yeah. course. And Quad, of course. Yeah. Um, but you guys are giving way better talk than Quad because Quad was just a Southern Belle that didn't want to talk about nothing real. Really? I think Quad just, uh, in my opinion, Quad just kind of projects what she thinks people want to hear versus just being herself. Just being yourself. Just be yourself. You ain't got to be fake. And, and a lot of it is she she's become what she thinks the industry wants. She puts mm. on a lot of different airs to me. Love her to death, but I love her as herself. But don't she the doesn't audience, have, and sometimes the industry changes you. I was going to say, but doesn't it the does. audience gravitate towards what's real more? I don't know. I I, 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 I haven't, you know, I'm going to be honest. That's, that's a question I can't answer. I sometimes I say yes, get, and sometimes I say no. I think when you do television, I don't, I don't think you get a chance to self-reflect unless you see yourself on TV. Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. I think that that first season when Quad saw herself, she wanted to make a change. And I don't think that's no, Michael Ain't nothing right. wrong with that. But I'm going to tell you the I other thing that I think is important in this. I think being a, surrounded by the right people, like having a good husband or, you know, mom or sister or family or, you know, whoever, children, anyone, you got to have a support system to remind you that ain't, that ain't you, that ain't a good look. Be yourself or, you know, you don't have to project. Just be who you are. That's why you're on here. So you all were saying that Cecil and his wife, what's her name? Simone. Simone. They're going through it. They've right. been going through it since the reunion. Everybody kind of rallied around Simone there, which I thought was great to see other yeah. black women supporting each other. But at this point, I really want her to leave or get it together. Like, you got to give them a chance or you got to yeah. give it up. I think that in their marriage specifically, um, it's a lot of hurt there. It's mm -hmm. a lot of hurt. I think it's very difficult for a black man mm -hmm. to be married to a physician. Absolutely. A woman is the breadwinner. And Cecil, unfortunately, lost his job. You know, on mm. TV, that's hard for So he needs man. her. His name is Cecil. No, he, no, hold on, hold on. They need each on. other. Not, no, if he, he ain't got no job and she's a physician, he needs her. Yeah. No, it's <laughs> different, though. And, and you know what? I think that we're the only culture that looks at it that way. I think every mm. other culture, I see how my husband's family operate. And it's out of seven, it's seven of them. And I, what, five of them are doctors. And wow. you know what they do? They well, Most of them live together, work together, support the other person. So I feel like I don't know why that there is this stigma attached mm. in the black community that says if you're a man, you can't stay there and help with the kids. If that's the most appropriate thing for your family to help get ahead, then that you should do that. That sounds really, really good. It sounds really good. Though. However, it's the truth, however a black woman, we're going to be honest. If no. our husband's not going to work, come on now. You, you need to well, be honored to serve woman. him. Ain't that what you right? said? No, no, no. But I'm saying... <laughs> It's something that comes out of you if a man ain't bringing home a check. I'm just saying for me. I'm not saying for anybody. But else. if you got to deliver a baby at 3 o'clock in the if morning. If I'm getting up every day going to work, you going looking. You going looking for something. No, but I'm you not, still have that's children. Me. That's me. Well, I'm Somebody not. still have, have to take care of the house. You have black men in the household. You have black men in the house. kids But I, I agree. I don't, my kids I, are grown. I'm talking wait, about me. I don't my think, kids are grown. I don't think that it's an issue if a black woman is the, or a woman is the breadwinner and the husband is. What it's I'm saying is. The problem is, is when she says it all the time. But, but not just that. Because I do feel like sometimes you keep a person in a relationship to abuse them. I know I was in a relationship that mm. went south and I kept them around to make them miserable. Mm. And every time I saw them miserable, it made me feel better. And it wasn't until three years after I was in the relationship that I go, damn, I'm miserable right. on top of making this motherfucker right. miserable. So what I'm saying is something happened to where the marriage was on the rocks. Then at the reunion, they decided we we're going to try to make it work. Right. But it seems like now I'm watching the trailer. She's punishing him or somehow not really allowing it to. You know, like to actively try to work it out. Same looks, same looks the same required. Your husband. I think they're here. punishing each other. I yeah. do, and I think it's different if you meet a guy and he's not working. But I think you got to be honest. Cecil has had a job and held right. down one for a very long time. He was in IT, worked for top, you know, one of Fortune ten company. But I think mm. the problem so. is it's been so long. He hasn't had a job and he's not communicating with her. Mm. Yeah, as to and how and he's that, going is, that to could be a huge problem. Another job. I mean, if yeah. you, you know we married and you don't have an income, you're gonna tell me something. Talk to me. And well, I'm saying. All that, but, but I understand work. him. I but like I understand that men are, yeah. you know. Yeah, what? but in your in your two situations, being married women, who's the breadwinner in your household? Well, my husband's an ER physician. I do very well too. Mm -hmm. uh, I, you know, it's been a time where I made a lot more than him. But now that he has a surgical center, we we made a big sacrifice on that. He now out earns me. But for years, I made more Wait, than he did. But does it does and, does being the breadwinner mean you're being out earned? I think. Well, I, I, no, 
Nah, because we both run on the bread. Yeah, that's right. what I'm saying. I said. thought he was asking who made the most money. I want to know. Right. Yeah, I mean, but both of us always made money. Yeah, and I feel the same way. I did. I did pharmaceuticals. I was a. I was a journalist. I was a, 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 a public affairs news anchor for the NBC affiliate in my hometown and University. producers. Yeah, mm-hmm. for five years. Then I moved to Atlanta, became a pharmaceutical sales rep. Then I went on to do devices, making more than most doctors I know mm-hmm. wow. today. Wow. Absolutely. I left my job because my husband decided that he wanted to do a second residency in ER. And this what, one right here? Yeah. yeah. That's yeah, same Bangladesh. one. Absolutely. Oh, yeah, that's what I yeah. think. That's and, he, he's, and you know what? He was right. You know, I, I, I wanted him to be happy. And then as soon as he finished, he said, you need to go back to writing and get back in TV and do what you really love. They came to me to do Housewives and I... Decided not to do it. You would have been good on that show. I would have been amazing. I think you so been too. Amazing. Yeah. I mean, yeah. you you Kim, and they would have kind of. I would have had at least one or two that liked me, honey. They could have dealt with my extra credit. That's who else you kind of look like. You also look like who? Um, who? Is it Sharice? Not Sharice. No, 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 no. The girl from uh, Potomac. Uh, that used to be married that. to the uh, you know pastor. What? I've heard that right? before. Yeah. Uh, we look related. Yeah. What's the yeah. light skin and eyes? Who looks he related? Like yeah, her. Like she luscious. don't look like you. We look like yeah, we come, you we like come from the same she's, ex- from? she's extremely beautiful. I'm from, Ga- I'm from Thank Gary, so Indiana. Much. Okay, I know Gary. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Okay, so why... Okay, producer, why don't we have Married to Medicine L.A.? Mm. Oh, you do have Mar- Heavenly just came here helping to launch it oh. a couple weeks ago. You so have it's, Married it's to Medicine. it's not on TV, though. No, but it will be soon. Okay. There was a Mary to be a, I know Texas. it's going to be all white well, women. Just, just, no, 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 no. It's not. It's all not African at all. American females. I think they tried it with Houston with yeah. a lot of different races and it they, didn't work. It had to be I black women. Well, I used to date this OBGYN. Maybe I can get up on there. They oh, um, they all don't wait, look wait, black, but they right. all have African Well, well because <laughs> even with the Housewives of uh, the Housewives franchise, Atlanta is the one that I watch right. all the Everybody. time. And then, you know, Beverly Hills, I like I to see like the Beverly houses. Hills the houses. They so rich. But you though. seem you bougie, though. Like, you seem like you would be. You would, I, I don't up. get bougie vibes from her. She, you, I'm so down to earth. She I'm gives just... me Clatchet. Clatchet. Classy and right. Oh, I am. Okay. I like that. <laughs> yeah, I'm that. That. I'm using that. I, I did am. Not learn I that. You learned that from me, Jason. Okay, so who on the show should go? Like, who do you both believe? Like, at this point, mm. we're tired of you. We're tired of your marriage. We're tired of your kids. Your dog is ugly. Your car is <laughs> fucked up. Yeah. <laughs> Ask heavily first. We're going to pray. It, it, um, you shit. said we're going to pray. Mm. 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 I, just work, go I have no answer for that. Wait, when you show up to set, when I you, like all the ladies, honestly. Heavenly, yeah. we all don't like everybody all the time. So when you when you get to set and you see that you got to film with this cow, don't you? Who do you just say cow? this one right here? Don't like her. Don't belong here. Because Jackie, I, she, Jackie belongs there, right? Yeah, I love Jackie. Yeah, yeah. You Jackie, both I'm probably there. closest to Jackie out of everybody in the show. So who got to go? If you had to vote one, I off, might get rid of. I think everybody brings something very special to the show. That's a good media train. Who is your publicist? Right, that's a good media train answer. I mean, that's the honest to God truth. I speak the truth. I think everybody brings something special to the show. The show wouldn't be the same without a Toya. Mm -hmm. The show wouldn't be the same without a Simone. Mm -hmm. It wouldn't be the same without a Jackie. It wouldn't be the same without a Mariah. Mm. It wouldn't be the same. I think all of them are needed. Mariah, do you ever feel, have you ever gotten a mode where you was like, I'm about to fire this motherfucker? I can't fire anybody. I can I can give my opinion, uh-huh. and they never act on it right then. But they always on anything I've ever suggested on the show, it's always happened. There's not been one thing that I've ever said on this show. They just don't do it when I say it. Mm-hmm. But they've always might always, not be there when you want it, but it's right on time. Absolutely. Well, what gotcha. I will say that I, I love about I think this. We all di- give our wait, opinions. let me say what I love about this dynamic <laughs> though in having because I I totally understand being the executive producer creator and. Being in the show, I love that there's a balance of power though. Because at some point, like when I was watching Basketball Wives, and I love Shawnee O'Neal, and you know we cool, but when I saw her and Brandy fall out, Brandy needs to be. Everybody needs to be able to give what the audience wants equally. And, Absolutely. And what I love about you is even in this exchange, you still hold your own. You hold your own. It's really good. That's what's. I think it's good TV. I think it's classy TV. We can talk, we can verbal spar, but I don't. I'm not here for the violence. That's all. Yeah, you know, but Mariah, who has to go though? Because she's being nice. She's being. <laughs> you know what? I'm not sure if anybody has to go per se. I just think they need some young blood. Mm. I think that mm. it's so many packs and stuff now. Like. Hamlin done said on a couple of times, she, you know, you'll get bored with it. You know what's going to happen. When people become too predictable, 
then it's time to, you know, I, I just need me some, give me old, some old young, you, young, old, young resident money struggling and let us see the struggle. Oh, that's it. me right there. Yeah. That's you? you yeah, but you're yeah. not a doctor. That's all right. He can I get one. He can get a wife. <laughs> that's one. If it Wait right a minute. I know that's right. Why don't you get a young doctor who's also an Instagram thought that wants to sleep with everybody's oh husband? God, I don't know. I mean, I would be locked oh, in. Oh, Heavenly ain't going to be. You know what? <laughs> Heavenly's not going to feel that. I'm going to find you. We'll, we'll pray for her. We'll pray up over her and make sure she's right. I'm going to tell you this, Dr. Wait, you will not pray over a doctor who comes in here sleeping with all y'all husbands. We're going to pray over her. She ain't going to sleep with my damn husband. We'll see how that works out for her. That's what we'll do. Let me tell you, Dr. Heavenly. going to work out well. Alive. Dr. Heavenly. Yes, yeah. sir. You sound like you can cook your ass off with that accent. I can cook. I don't cook all the time, but I can cook. They show it on TV. You know, I had to show the other doctors how to cook. They didn't know how to do it. I can cook. I think that's one of the things that drew my husband to me. You know, I can cook. I can. I can do everything. I'm every woman. So do you cook. So does, do, cook. does your husband like like oh, uh, I cook. black eyed peas? Oh, I cook. I cook Indian food. I cook. No, you I cook don't. Southern food. You don't I cook, cook no curry, roti, chicken no on pepper you. pie. I cook, are you kidding me? You don't I cook, cook no dal. roti. Really? I cook everything. But you, I cook lao. Listen, oh, I cook. I, and I still cook my food too. Wait, but I does, mix it up. I do Indian soul. Do you have Let's soul food that. night where you bring out like? Nigga like shit, oxtails. No. Wait, well, let me think oh, of the shit son, I don't. He said, I yeah. Son, love yeah. oxtails. We don't have a soul food night. <laughs> I just kind of merge everything. Mm. With, you know, we have curry cultures. and mac and cheese. <laughs> I try to look at least on Sunday, you know. Yeah. At least yeah. on Sunday, I have a chef that brings my man eat, you know. Yeah. I Curry serve it to him, but I might not cook I it every I night. I have a job, and, you know, but it might work. Oh. Okay, so everybody should stay on the show, but we should find a thought to come in. Okay, so do you think Cecil? <laughs> you said that. You said that. I, we didn't see, say I tried that. to okay. slip that shit in there. So do you think Cecil should be? Do you think Cecil and his man. wife should be having sex? Because there was a, there was a lot of conversation that she should be servicing her man. Right. I think absolutely. that's a part of marriage. Absolutely. Yeah. If yeah. you ain't giving it to him, somebody else. And like, uh, okay. Like, uh, uh, absolutely. Uh, 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 we ain't gonna speak that. No, no. I'm no. just saying. No, I'm not. I agree. No, I you agree gotta with you. sleep I with you. Like, with come you. on now. I'm gotta say yeah. this, come Dr. On. Heavily and Miss Mariah Queen. The fact that you just said that, goddammit. Yeah. I just was in a relationship. She was depriving me of the goods so for a year. So what you do? He cheated on her. Well, why not end no, the relationship that's an excuse, first? You wrong. Why not I end the relationship wrong first? Why not do it in order? He got wrong written all over. What? Why not Did do you it in communicate? order? How about I mean, in the relationship here's the thing. first? Here's my they thing, don't watch the show, but he clearly, she, clearly, you've been in self. You've self admitted that you have a problem with sex. She did not communicate. She was the worst communicator ever in the relationship. And I tried to make it work. Why? 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 Never. And then, unfortunately, I cheated. I didn't plan to. It happened. Oh God! And then, did you now, come and tell her? Straight up? No, she found out. That's what I'm talking about. See what I'm talking about? So was this, oh, this is God. part of the problem in cheating. And I you said this what? the other day. I can't remember who was on the show. But I was saying that. <laughs> I was saying. I was saying. Right. I was saying that my dream, because I don't, I don't necessarily believe in traditional relationships with just two people. I believe oh, that. God. I believe you that go. you got to work hard. Sister, you want to be old sister? No, I, I believe you. Can, I believe you can work hard enough to afford multiple relationships. Listen, but, but I'm, I'm from, I'm from the Bay. But let me ask. This. You know the Muslim guys think that too. But let me ask this question yeah. because it's only in our country where we care about those things. Oh, like around the around the world, they're not tripping. Three, four, five, mm -hmm. wives. So let me ask this now because there seems to be an epidemic of mm. cheating in Atlanta. Do you think some of the wives, some of these doctors or or business women that are on the show should start thinking of maybe welcoming another person into the marriage? I I mm. don't like that idea. I don't like that idea. When well, I tell you this, I'm Would you? I'm positively, absolutely against it. But I tell you, Why is he the, laughing the, so hard? He's now? laughing hard. He, you know, let, let me tell you, my, my husband is laughing there. hard because one of the things that is very prevalent and the country he's in, it's a Muslim, 98% Muslim country, you know, Bangladesh, is, you know, the men have, what, four or five wives. Mm -hmm. So I said to his mom, I'll never forget. This is when I really gained a whole new respect for her. You know, how could you do that? You could be actually be with your husband with other wives and allow him to have other wives. And she said, Nur Mariah. <laughs> <laughs> the Quran says he has to be able to afford there you go. all the wives. So that means if you're the first wife, you're not spending enough money no. <laughs> if he can afford a second, third, or fourth. So I was like, yeah. Yes, honey, I like that. That's my mother-in-law. What, what was your? But wait, but if you all are if you all are sharing food experiences, yeah. why can't you culture? Sure why couldn't you culture? I ain't sharing my bed. But y'all got big houses in Atlanta. You mm -hmm. got guest rooms. You know what? I'm gonna be honest with you. And I put the hoe in the best room. In yeah. the best room. I can pretty much tell you on Thank behalf you. of every woman on this show, 
the the side they, it wouldn't be able to be possible to have a side chick with us and and, and live together. Mm -hmm. We are very dominant, huge personalities. A type, it, all of it. It will not work. <laughs> Somebody will have to go. So, it Heavenly, you show up at dinner, your husband got a girl there, yeah. and he wants to. Come on, dude. Yeah. Yeah. You do not watch yeah. this show. Yeah. You must not watch this show. Yeah. I blow some shit up. She called you, dude. Right now. You she said, yeah. not watch this oh, show. I, I know I, I seem like playing. a nice Christian lady that oh, I am. Oh, uh, but them be the worst but, ones. Uh, hell yeah. We can raise some hell. <laughs> it would be but horrible. But my husband know I'm crazy. He know. He and know mine do too. My husband know I'm crazy. I want to know what was his mother's first reaction when he brought his sister home. Hell to the no, mm. probably. <laughs> I, you know, that's true love there, though. Yeah, yeah that's it, true love. I don't think. I think that it was. They were horrified. Mm. I think they were absolutely horrified. He because, said they was. Yeah, they were because he. Every one of his brothers and sisters, with him and I think one more. Uh, out of seven had arranged marriages, so they probably was horrified. And you know, when they Indian saw me. dudes they'll date a black chick, but they don't wife them oh, up. I, that. That. <laughs> not wife I wasn't, I wasn't wifey. I norm. was the wife. And this I didn't play like that. Wait, I didn't play norm. like that way. And this is what I'm thinking too. Like, mm -hmm. if if he cheated, is it because he was watching too much Yo MTV raps and thought absolutely the whole black not? Thing. He's grew. Up, this that's how people look. Don't Indian, don't let the smooth taste fool you. I ain't he no grew Indian. up in Patterson, New Jersey. I okay. keep telling you. Around a bunch of one of Aiden's yeah, closest nigga. friends is Just Blaze. Like, just oh, yeah, nigga. Like, yeah, he black. Exactly. He smokes weed. Yeah, nigga. No, he's still Indian now. He's <laughs> got curry flavor, <laughs> curry flavor swishers. Uh, he heavenly Lord, Jesus, Father. <laughs> so, Where are we at? What's the name of the show again? Yeah. Hollywood Unlocked uh, Uncensored. No, that's right. No, Frankly. you know, we just unlock like to it. Unlock it. It's unlocked. Okay, so what do you think the biggest misconceptions of physicians are or being married to? To win, like, what do you think? Because that I all of us act like Dr. Jackie. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yes. Dr. Jackie is very poor. She never says the wrong thing on TV. Um, she uh, see, she I don't have the, that perception of her. She, yeah. um, so you're saying do. Dr. Jackie's fake? No, 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 no. That's absolutely who she is. I think that <laughs> I admire Wait. her because none of us, none of us can keep our composure when some shit go down. Mm. Jackie can look at you and hold hers. She might get you after. She might get, but she's. But able ain't to that come. fake though? When you're on a reality show, like <laughs> I if, think you're, listen, you're protecting your brand. Listen, so yeah. it, it's I'm something going. to be said. Let I, me I don't tell you think something. she's fake. I, I think I, she's I, 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 Smart, this honestly. Is, this is why I'm on Wildin' Out now. Because I got to be in a safer environment to be funny. Because in reality, you're going to get the real. If you say something to me crazy, you're going I to get the... I think we all do that, yeah. But not Ed, not Dr. Jackie. No. She does it. Hers is just edited out. Mm. Yeah. Well, yeah, it some of that. But she's better than the average. She can hold her temper better than all of us. But edited out because she wants to look a certain way to Everybody the public? Everybody on the show is typecasted. So once you start out something, that's what you become. Oh. And they don't want to see Dr. Jackie, the great black hope, that somebody could keep composure. Not the great black hope. You know, not okay. That's to you. <laughs> that's to you. I, I don't mean, see her like that. Hope. I didn't, you know what? I don't see that. You know what? I, that see, that's, you know what? I love instances. Dr. Jackie, and I, I thought, and, and along with that, same thing. I, I want her on the show, <laughs> cast her. I think she's amazing, but I don't see her as a great can black I make hope. It a, no. Can I make and an I believe appearance? that's the problem. That's the problem that we put so much into people. She's a woman put on her thongs just like we do. I live and for I Dr. feel Jackie. I love her. I live for her too. No, no. Well, yes, you say she, she do. When you say she's the black, the great, great black, black hope, I, I yeah. thought about Wakanda. No, I'm thinking about a boxer. Oh. Yeah. I'm proud of Dr. Jackie. I mean, <laughs> she, I'm proud of all of y'all. She's uh, all of us. She, so, she's very uh, brand oriented. She thinks about her brand, you know? So, didn't mm -hmm. somebody just get kicked off of uh, the Sister mm -hmm. Circle? Do you think quite has something to do with that? I don't know anything about that. Mm. That was deep. I I mean, but you know what? If you ever watched Sister Circle, the girl that got kicked off probably was the least. The, Interesting. The, the, yeah, the the. Uh, I like that show actually. Yeah, 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 great really show. I think it guess. started out because I think we were watching it from the very beginning. You were like, oh, it ain't. But now nah, it's it's no, so it's fine. Good. It's good as the rest of them. When Tamar Brax's mom popped up and threw Vince under the bus, I was oh, like, that yeah. messy ass show yeah. is some shit. I gotta pay attention yeah. to. So we got messy. Joe the circle messy. of sisters mm. got messy. What? Who Je messy with the sisters? I think sister she was circle. upset for her daughter. Damn yeah. right. Jason, uh, before we go on, I just cannot give these two black queens some type of love that I don't think a lot of people might know about these two queens. So Mariah, you was a double major in business and mm -hmm. communication at the University of Tennessee. Mm -hmm. That's Mariah, excuse me. Mm -hmm. Dr. Heavenly, she doubles as a motivational speaker, relationship counselor, also runs a practice, a private practice and over nine dental practices? Yeah, yeah. It was an essence mm -hmm. right up on me. What I would do is buy uh, distressed practices, build them up and sell them. Sound like you I got did a bag. that for years. I did that for years. Both of y'all sound like y'all got a budget. She's yeah. dental. She's a dental flipper. 
Stay there. Stay there. A dental and flipper. daddy working dental too. Flipper. Daddy working too. That's how mm-hmm. I was able to do oh, so Oh, yeah. Much. You call your mm-hmm. husband daddy. Yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah. So what's wrong with that? Because everybody I, I date better call me daddy. Daddy. Not I mean, married, everybody not anybody. deserving of the title. Now, why do you, you call, call wait, hold on. Do you call your man daddy? No. You know why? And, and it's, everybody's call different. Call him Prince. I call him husband, or I call him Boo, I call him Bay, I call him Aiden. Well, why not Daddy? Um, doc- because I have a, I had a father. My that father just deep. died two years ago, God, and not my, and, and, and it, it just would t- make my skin crawl. Well, call my call husband Daddy. Daddy. You asked him to it, for me because I had a really close relationship with my father. He just died on Christmas Eve two years ago, and I cannot call my husband Daddy. Let me tell you and why I call my husband Daddy. For me, you know, Let me tell you why I call. He's my still husband my Daddy. king. My husband and I um, had our first son, Damon Jr. and. Uh, his name is Damon too, so my son would call him Damon because I called mm-hmm. him Damon, so I started calling him Daddy, and that and, makes sense. And he liked it. So let me, so let me ask a question: to, When a woman calls her husband Daddy, what do you think of that? Do you think that that's is that in any way diminishing her as a woman? Absolutely not. not. Absolutely and not. It's not taken away from my father no. either. I don't have an issue with my father. My father's deceased as well. Mm. We had a close relationship. I think people read too much and stuff. I call him Daddy because he's. He's he's everything a daddy should be. And I agree with her on that. I think sometimes Tearing you just have to do what's up. good in your household. Like she call her husband daddy, you know, I call mine's boo, bae, whatever. So you got to do what works for you in your household. How he respond when you call him boo? Oh, he's respond whatever I call. I don't even have to smile. call. I just give him a look. <laughs> I just give him a look. I really don't have to call his name. I just give him a oh, wink. She just show up. So <laughs> have, Damn right. Have you, ever had a, have you ever had a scene with each other or with one of the other girls where you left saying, I'm really never going to like her again, but I'm going to just show up and shoot with her? <laughs> Yeah, you know what? I think I'm a forgiving person. Mm. I think that me and Mariah have been through a lot together. Yeah, um, and look and, at you both came here today. I'm saying I'm, I'm a forgiving. We're person. trying. I think that we really are trying. I, I think that ain't nothing that deep, though. You know what I mean? Like the people I love are at, at the house. You I've, know, been, I'm I've not, been on TV. I I, I've been is. on TV where I've said. I think I understand what this is. I've been on TV with some people where I said, mm, "I'm going to show up if I have to," but I don't like that motherfucker at I think all. That's what people you know on what show I like think that. it is? I think oh. absolutely. I think it, you do encounter people like that, and I think a lot. In my experience, a lot of what I think heavily feels that way until she's under the microscope. I don't think she really has had it. Like I feel like. Quasi the same thing. Maybe I have. Mm. Like, I don't think, you know, like once you learn, I think this was the first season of all the years, in my opinion, that Heavily's been on the show where someone has even remotely hit a hot button and it was me. And I did it. I was uncomfortable with doing it. But like you want people but, to n- understand how it feels when something really when bad is done. I don't, I don't, when it's I on the other she, side. I think she hit my hot button. The thing that yeah. she did was she said my husband was cheating on me. Yeah, I got we it together on that. Go there. But the Let's thing not about it, no, no, no. We it hurt there. him more so than it did me. Because mm. if you watch the show, I'm playing with it. I look at daddy. I'm being here and the thing. I'm looking at Heavenly, it. you threw oh, a chair. Oh, I, I didn't say. throw a chair. You broke a glass. Come on. Don't do that. Okay. Let's not go there. Just, no, I'm not. Wait, okay. wait, wait. Can I ask a question? But one thing that, I did. That wasn't why I threw the chair. What? You broke a glass. But That's what, what happened. By, ex- that? by accident. Yeah, right. Okay. So can I ask this, though? In it, the middle it, of it, an it, argument. When, 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 uh, when Mariah was walking out the door mm-hmm. and y'all were both hurling stuff at each Did other. Did y'all see her walking in the rain back and forth pacing? Looking like you got served. But, but, she get the most now. I, that, I think she's, she should have gotten her peach back. Well, there year. was something that Mariah mm-hmm. said walking out the door mm-hmm. that caught me and you said um, Ooh, were you alleged about her and her husband don't, don't do that. cheating? Don't Huh? I don't know what I said. Oh, no, 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 not you. Well, I mean, look, I don't see him right there. I see y'all too. Okay. Okay, but Mariah said um, she something. She said something to the fact of you. Let's not talk about what your husband does. And I kind of got from it that your husband may have cheated on you with something else or somebody else. What was that? Do you know what I'm talking about? I think that was some made up shit t- to hit my hot button. I do. I don't know where she's going with that. I think that her husband had cheated on her. It was a hurtful something for her, and she wanted to hurt me. Let me just say That's this. What I think. I say this, I've never, since I've been on that show, no matter what anybody says about me, the one thing every one of those women know, the only one that won't admit is the one I don't have a relationship with now, is I've never lied on anybody's family. Mm -hmm. But I will tell you this, regardless of anything, I apologize apologize to her husband. Uh, I was wrong. Their marriage, their family, I will never do that. That was the one reason 
I wanted to have this show. I feel like we have enough shows breaking down minority families. Mm-hmm. I didn't want to be a part of it. The I apologize. I apologize. And, and I, I truly was that. sorry. And I appreciate Heaven that. and I have our differences. I appreciate we, that. We might always go back and forth, but I will never. I know how hurt I am when she talks about my mother and she talked about my husband on the show. But I said, but I'm not going to go after. there. It if wasn't. your mother gets in the grind, it wasn't. Things. It was after she said something about somebody else, not about you. That's, That's not true. That's not true. That's not true, so Heaven. We have right. the we're footage. Not about, um, we're not talking about on the show. We're talking about off the show. No, and I'm not she, gonna argue with you because you know. Mariah lies. Off. Let me tell you something. Why Toy and her got to fight? Okay, she said, mm. "I ain't even gonna go there. I ain't even gonna go there." But the whole facade of it was a lie. This this woman lies with conviction of lying. You know so, what's so bad? You calling like, me a lie, and you yeah, know what I think? I yeah. feel like you call me a liar, yes, and I think you justify. No, no, That's no, not true, Heavenly. But show. why? Why would we be Heavenly? Why are we hard? But I appreciate. What you are we arguing about? I apologize. I did yeah, I because I was wrong. You were. Regardless, I'm not gonna carry a bone. Well, I don't have to. I I'm got a happy household. I never, and I don't have any lie. reason to lie on the very people you do that I built, you do that lie. I helped you to build. build I'm just we saying that I was. He- you. You have no, no I'm not no saying no like no heavenly. I'm you not saying it like that. Heavenly, I'm not saying that like that. I'm saying, I'm saying that I constantly say positive things. Why are you? What? But I'm saying you sitting here saying you don't lie. You lie. I don't, sweetie. I don't like you saying that. So, I never lied on you. So, wait, so I could have. I I, when you. I said that you had successful pre- what was what? That, but that's true. You mix lies oh, with the truth. That's what okay. wicked people okay, do. But no, but let me say. What, what, oh, and, wow. well, let me oh, say no. this. Let me say because I don't. See you where know, this I don't, is going. Not, well, I don't, I wait, 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 wait. Can I say something just out of respect for everybody? Because Mariah Ouch. didn't take any personal dig at you. We're just Mm-mm. talking about the topic. Right. What, what we're watching on the show right, right now. But you make a personal topic when she attacks my husband and I he did not deserve any of that. Okay, watch the show. No, but and I'm, then you'll see if that's a lie. But, to, and if, see and it plays out. but let me say this. I apologize. And I have since then. That was episode And anybody 10? interviews, any any interviews I've had, I have personally. I have personally, out of respect for your husband, I'm a woman Thank of my you. word, and I am Thank not a liar. And, he's a respectable and let me man. tell you this: I, w- and all I have, black and men it- don't cheat. That's not true. And don't I, put I think that all in the men atmosphere. cheat personally. Don't put that. That's not true. I think all men cheat. I think with their eyes, baby. No, maybe, you I know think, what I mean. No, if you I, think of the lust, I have a penis. But I think we, we cheat, and I'm gonna tell you. I don't think all men cheat. There's oh. an exception to every rule. It I'm ain't a, a black man major. thing. It's a it's universal. A, thing. I'm a biology People biology. make mistakes. I just um, said we married to men. We not married to gods. To they not gods. They not demigods. Cole. They make mistakes. We make mistakes. We all make mistakes. Cole is an Instagram thought. He is cheating right now. I think I'm the only one that studied biology and chemistry. There's an exception to every rule. Okay, so let's move on. Okay, let me say this. Let me ask this question. How do you all... First of all, you guys are entertaining. I already say that. I love y'all. I love y'all so much. But I don't love it. How do you get to a place where you all can have your individual beliefs without feeling like it's... Attacking someone else. Mm-hmm. Well, you know, Jackie always says you can't make your value system. Yeah, but we know Jackie. Else. She lied. Right. She like, added no, herself. No, no, but you Jackie can't. ain't keeping Absolutely. it real. You I can't. don't want. I was a fan of Jackie's. I'm not fan. I'm nah, not a fan no, of. No, she's I a good girl. See, no, because you you said when Jackie is not on camera. She is probably Damn, one of the most that? venomous. No, I did Jackie not say and Simone that. are very similar. I'm going to tell you this. Jackie and Simone, I'll tell you this. <laughs> and I've been knowing amazing. them a very long time. I've been, uh, Simone delivering my baby. I've been knowing them long, much longer than Heavenly. Mm. And understand me when I tell you this. They are very similar. And they've been friends. They were in practice together. One of, it's like me and my sister. We have the same values. We think the same way. But one of us actually knows how to bite our tongue and the other one does not. <laughs> and that's the end of it. And that. I think they that's are true. That's the personality. Yeah. It has nothing to do yeah. with the profession or anything like that. That's I think she's I probably that. known Jackie longer, but I, I talk to her every day and it's like she's all about her brand. But and after TV, smart. everybody and change. Smart. And that's smart. It's a smart way to but, attack I mean, this. you can be all about your brand, but when you're on reality television, yeah, you got to lay it person. all out there, right? Mm-hmm. Don't you? But you're still no. a person. No. You still got to be. So let me ask no. you this. So in say in the worst case scenario, Mm-hmm. For whatever reason, your husband was to cheat on you. Would you be okay showing that in the show? I would have to show it. Wow. I would have to show it. My whole thing is, you know, and people, you know, Mariah will fault me for saying this. My husband touches on every love language with me. He provides for me. He does what Why he takes good care. No, no, no. Because what I, I'm about to say, let me finish what I'm saying. Um, I wouldn't leave him for one hoe. Come on now. My whole thing is, I, I, 
I just think we've built yeah. so much together. I know I'm wrong to say this in a public forum. I don't think but, so. But a lot of women I do. say it. No, you're not. A, no, no, no. A lot I of women so. say it. Oh, she I'm right. leaving. I'm going to blow up everything. God dang it. And then when it happens, they still there. So why not tell the truth? But, but is that because you're married? Because you don't know. Cause it's why not, not tell the truth? But is that because you're married? You don't you're know married, what you'll do until you're in that situation. I think I know what and, I do. I think oh. I would. I don't think mm-hmm. I would leave based on one bitch. Not over and over again. Like you know what? You don't know. You don't you disrespect know over and over again. Yeah. I, I just think okay. certain situations. Thing, you, nah. I just think certain situations. You don't know what you'll do until you're in that position. People can say anything. You can say what you'll do. But when you're in that situation, you truly don't know the dynamics. You don't know how deep know. it is. Or well, well, maybe she does. Well, but it's but not. But my thing is, I have experienced it, and I talked about it. I shared it, and I grow from it. I'm okay because I'm married to a man. Hold on, hold on, listen, okay, I believe you can be cheated on and be forgiven. Wait, wait, I believe you can be a cheater and stop cheating because if you get married, aren't you supposed to say, okay, we going to get into this deal. It's sort of like if I get into this show with Giovanni and Melissa, and this ain't even a marriage, right? Right. But we have a fallen out, which we have had. Mm -hmm. Yeah. We have, a, we have something we've built that has value. So we have to continue to find the resolve but in that conflict. Wait, 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 let me finish. Let me finish. And then you can say whatever. I think just as much as you would say, I'm not staying with my man if he leaves, someone could say, then you don't love him enough to forgive him. Mm. And, so, and as much as someone can say, I wouldn't let no man cheat on me and you should have left and you don't have enough self-respect. But right. someone could say, I have enough confidence in my marriage to make it work and be better. Do you think it's because there's a lot of women that listen to the show and a lot of women get cheated on because I think all men cheat. You say no. Don't you think that there's some power in a woman being able to say, you know what, I'm going to take control of my marriage. I'm going to take control of this problem and I'm going to fix it and stay in it and see how I can become a stronger person. I think it's it's very powerful to say that, but to actually do it is the is the struggle. It depends on how no matter what. You you it, you just don't mm-hmm. know what you're going to do until you're in a situation. I, mean, I think fun, if, telling if, you the if truth. he cheated and he came like Gregory Lunsford, very arrogant, like what you want me to do, then yeah, I gotta go. Mm-hmm. But if you cheated and that's you're remorseful, and, oh and yeah, yeah, that's all I'm saying. It depends. It, like I agree. it depends yeah, on the scenario. I that's all I was saying. Here. I agree. Or if when he has a trust issue, talking about let's work it out. Let the woman cheat. Let or Mariah yeah. cheat with, with Aiden stay. I don't know. Or I'm if he has saying. a sex with a transsexual. If he goes and fucks a transsexual in a gar- behind the garbage <laughs> come can. Come on, man. Y'all, we, we then not you, going with this. Then yes. no, come on, let's come back from there. No, I'm come only... On. No, I'm saying... We've had three We've had three transsexuals on our show. So we actually... We had a dwarf here last week. We talked oh, to geez. all types of people. I'm just saying, you know, there's just certain levels of cheating. Like you said... So why you can't accept if a woman cheats? Ooh. I'm asking you. Ooh. Yeah, people Lay know up. better than me. Ooh, you know what? That's a great question. I think when a woman cheats, it's more emotional. And she's probably been Not clocked, necessarily. She's clocked out at some point in time. Men, we're physical. I can fuck anything whenever I want to just because I can get my dick hard and I'm ready. But when a woman, a woman could go to church with a brother and we have a heart attack about it. It's just more of an emotional but I think, thing. But I think it should go both ways, right? Like, a man can't expect a woman to just accept it and move forward. If a, It should go both ways, it right? It should, but it doesn't. I well, think, that's not fair. Because you're receiving, fair. we're giving. I think oh, really, but no, no, that's men, not fair. Men, first, of all, men. first of all, some men, some men are receiving, too. I think but, they but all But that's did. not the point. The point is, is that, uh, you know, it's not about who's giving or receiving. What's, no, because I feel like you're not equally yoked if you get into a relationship with a woman and say, these rules apply to me, but no. they don't apply to you or vice versa listen here's the thing if my ex had cheated on me as much as i love her we could have got through it but like you said she didn't love me enough to forgive me and to get through it but you didn't love one that time. doesn't necessarily mean that though. she didn't it doesn't mean me she didn't so you love you enough. forgiven her for cheating yes because i love her that much oh, wow. i was lacking something wow i wasn't doing something well, can i tell did. you something it may not necessarily have been that it could have been that she knows herself well enough to know that you would have been living in hell after cheating, because she might have brought it up every I'm single day. I'm willing to day. go through that. I would have went through that. Kevin yeah. Hart's going through it's it right like now we with Nico. Talk, but who wants to do who that, though? Wants, because I'm willing to go well, through hell like to that. show well, you how much well, I'm sorry and he, let's make this he's better. Young, he's, that he, man no love, baby. No, no, he, no, he, no. He, 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 that man is young. I'm 32. And, no, but 32, yeah. I'm 41. When you get to a certain p- place in life, you go, you know what? Happiness is priceless than the motherfucker. And I'm, I'm going to yeah. try to work Peace it out. Peace of mind is worth but, so much. But wait, 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 wait. wait. Go, ahead. Go ahead. I lived in a, I was in a relationship where I literally woke up every day 
unconsciously thinking of how to make this person miserable. Mm -hmm. You don't want, you have to value your life much more than that to want to be happy. But here's the difference. These two queens are under the covenant. So for better or what worse. What does covenant mean? What the do you covenant, mean? they're married. Okay, okay. So for better or for worse, you got to figure this shit the fuck out. No, like be, she no, said, wait, wait, I agree with wait, Dr. Heavenly. On. One time, it's cool. What, 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 what one heaven? time, it's cool. She didn't cool. say that. No, well, she didn't no, say no, that. No, no, no. One time, one time. No, that's one not, time. not what that, that just said let, that. let me set it up so you can I'm get the point correct. What Heavenly said was, she she didn't believe, what I thought she said was, she wouldn't stay in her marriage if it was her husband cheated. No, if her husband cheated on you, you would stay in your marriage, right? Okay. One time. Okay, one, or, okay. Yeah, I said once. Okay, and one time. One, one time. Let's say one time every 15 years. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. But that, that's not cheating. I'm that would joking. be a hard pass. Right, right, right. Go ahead, right, right. Go ahead but, but Jill. But no, if a man made a mistake and cheated. I made a mistake. He, but I know men that cheat and will get their left arm cut off rather than their wives know it. You know right, what I mean? Right. Love their wife, but they still had to get it. Mm. Sex is powerful. It yes, is. it is. They get it. It they is. Mean they don't love me. Especially when you're coming and giving it to you. Go. I got these kids. I got this family. We doing this. We got this love here. And you think for this this thought hole here that didn't mean nothing. But Amber Rose mm-hmm. was here and she said that a woman who's considered the thought the hoe or the side chick is the, the that's that's uh the the wrong is being placed on the wrong person because the person you're married to has the obligation to you, not the girl. Well, I think these hoes is really thirsty, and I think a lot of men uh <laughs> can't control themselves. You ever seen a man that's really I think with, a lot uh, of men are sneaky. Yeah, they they, they 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 sneaky. Let me ask you a question. What's the longest either they one just of you thottish as the women? What's the longest either one of you went without sex? A year for me is a long goddamn time. A year. A year. I was deprived of sex for a year. Well, we've been married no, for a long time. See, that's so different. It so different. it was a point in time where it was a mistake. I tripped and fell into some pussy twice. Mm, you know. Oh, God. Anyway, tripped into it, right? So back to the... Uh, Being honest. Okay, so anyway, I don't know where to go from there. But let me say, uh, I've appreciated meeting both of you. You know, I was really excited when I saw that you were both coming on together because I was like, ooh, it's going to be a cat fight, and you guys didn't disappoint. So what do you what? want? I don't think it was a cat fight. She don't even think, think that that's, 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 that's our, our, our differences is right where it needs but no, to be. But do you think why? Because you know what I will say, and I don't know if you know this. You really are shady on the low. No you, doubt. Yeah. Don't you think I know that? Oh, you, you know that. But do you know that? Know? But you, but you, you we come across. We all are, I think. No, but I think you, sometimes you come across like you think you're not, though. You don't think so? Uh-uh. Really? I know exactly what I'm doing when I do it. So you're strategic. Absolutely. And everything that I've done. I had a vision board. That's how I got my husband. I went to school wow. and, uh, to, to find a man. And I put myself in the right place. I, I always had a plan. Wait, Went you had, was, was finding a man at school on your vision board? Absolutely. At Meharry. I Absolutely. need to go and create a vision board. The first day I met her, she said I was coming for you. I just didn't believe it. Mm. She did. No, so she's not lying. Not lying. Don't don't lying. Lying. She ain't lying. She's always said <laughs> that. Tell you the truth. Okay, she's a, uh, so but people respond differently to different things. So, okay, I will say that I did not expect. Uh, I knew this was going to be entertaining, but I didn't think it would be this entertaining. You guys can show. come back anytime you want. I appreciate great that. Great fucking show. And tell that. Dr. Jackie, stop being a fraud. She got to be real. She, you know what? Real. I don't think she's a fraud. I think she's just more like prudish. You know, yeah. to me, she just kind of. She's kind of just, she's kind of close. She just had, she's just real, you know. And what's going to happen is next season, her man going to be out there fucking a whole bunch of thoughts and magic. I don't think so. I rebuke Dr. Jesus. They've been through a lot. I don't think so. I think he, you know. Dr. Jackie's not a fraud. I think that she's not. I don't think she's a fraud. I think she's just being honest. Why would you put that on their marriage? Yeah. They've been through a lot. Why would you I don't think so. Why would you ask to. You would love her husband. Why would you Y'all would love her husband. Why would you ask two beautiful women in front of her husband when's the longest she's gone without having sex? He, he forgot that. He, he ah, forgot the man was here, sitting here. there. We were talking about it like last week. I Thank was like, you. Never been, I, but you know, you to me before you, let me just say this. It's funny that you asked that because he, I, we were talking about this like a week ago and I was like, we never went over a week. He was like, yeah, we went about 11 days one time. <laughs> I was like, Look, the way his goddamn so arms folded, he, he know was, all the times, like, the yeah. dates. He is an so, ER doctor. He needs to come home and relieve stress. He got that ER Stance. He look. He waiting for somebody to go into a stroke right goddamn now. <laughs> okay, well, listen. Thank you both for coming on the show, thank and we're going to be make, making thank sure that everybody needs enjoy. to just follow you in yes, life because y'all are entertaining. When I watch the show in her shade, man. I laugh, man. Ooh, that, I'm, that, I laugh at so your funny. shade. You, I both mean, of you. Are, I'm talking about when it come on me. I'm like, oh my god, that is so hilarious. 
Okay, well, hopefully by the end of the season or at the reunion, you guys cry, hug, and make up. And don't be that scribbling be on nobody's like photos. That. I what? thought we had done that, actually. What? And then In here church. we are. And here oh, we are. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's the sad part about it. We actually, yeah, that's why we're right. here. Listen, we're out of here. Peace. Thank Peace. y'all. Thank you. Thank you, guys.